If you would like to see some of the best technological advancement and innovation happening in the world nowadays, then this video is for you. Hi! Good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and of course Arthur here and we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. What you are about to see in this video is all about super technological innovation taking place worldwide. So with that being said, here we go with our video. Number 1 is world's largest e-ferry connecting two Danish islands without emitting any carbon dioxide. At her home port on the Danish island of Ellen, loads her passengers and rechargers her batteries. Once disconnected, the 750-ton ship leaves for one of its five daily trips to a neighboring island. This project was co-financed by the European Union in cooperation with islanders eager to achieve carbon neutrality. Ferries are today the largest polluters on the island and Ellen will save 2,000 tons of CO2 emissions a year. Number 2 is Locally Developed South Korean Space Rocket on Track for 2021 Launch Ever since South Korea launched its first space rocket in 2013 with Russia's help, it's been working to develop a rocket solely with domestic technology. The Nuri rocket, South Korea's first locally built space rocket, is having its 139th fire test. The Nuri rocket is made up of three stages and is designed to carry a 1.5 ton satellite into low orbit. Number 3 is First PH made hybrid electric trains hits railway tracks. The Science and Technology Department and the Philippine National Railways hold an inaugural run of the first Philippine made hybrid electric train. This is said to be the first of modern railway. It also boasts of other advantages over current PNR trains. Number 4 is Airports Test Facial Recognition Technology. The next time you go to the airport, you might notice something different as part of the security process. A machine scanning your face to verify your identity. But how does the process work? Which airlines and airports are involved right now? And do travelers need to be concerned about privacy breaches? Number 5 is Georgia launched factory plan for electric cars. In a first of the country, the city will soon launch a factory plant for electric cars. 
A Georgian private company and a Chinese group joined forces to construct a production factory outside the city. The project will include a manufacturing plant. It will be followed by the construction of painting and welding facilities, as well as a factory for solar panels. Number 6 is Giant Plastic Interceptor Tackles Floating Landfill on Malaysia's Klang River A giant solar-powered barge has been deployed in Malaysia's Klang River, one of the world's most polluted waterways. The device will aim to sweep up tons of plastic waste before it can reach ocean waters. Environmental research indicates that most of the plastic pollution in the world's ocean got there after floating down rivers. Number 7 is Las Vegas Police Deploy New Technology to Fight Crime The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department says they are seeing tremendous success with their high-tech intelligence unit. Officially, it's called the Technical Operations Section. The room at the Las Vegas Metro Police Headquarters looks like something from your favorite crime show drama. Number 8 is SpaceX Launch Scrubbed. Flight aims to test safety procedures. SpaceX is gearing up for a crucial test that could help send astronauts to space from U.S. soil for the first time in nearly a decade. The unmanned Dragon capsule will intentionally break off from the Falcon 9 rocket minutes after liftoff. The unmanned in-flight abort test aims to provide SpaceX can return astronauts to safety in the event of an emergency. Number 9 is Watch This Amazing Three Wheeled Vehicles. Polaris, Vanderhall, and Morgan all make three wheeled vehicles. But just because they each have three wheels doesn't mean they're at all the same. Number 10 is Turning CO2 into Stone in Iceland One hundred percent of Iceland's electricity needs are generated from renewable sources, including geothermal energy. With the aim of cutting emissions even further, a unique carbon capture system called CarbFix is being pioneered at the Helsinki Geothermal Power Plant in Western Iceland.
So, that's all there is to it for today's video. If you found this video wonderful, please give us like, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.